Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to give you a short update on uh, NG Spice development and have some application which I was dealing in the, the recent past is electrothermal simulation. Uh, well, my name is Holger Vogt. I'm from University of Duisburg Essen in Duisburg in Germany, and I'm also with the Fraunhofer Institute on Microelectronic Circuits and Systems. Okay, yeah, just to wrap up, NG Spice, what is it? It's a circuit simulator. It solves the equations of uh, electronic circuits, and these electronic circuits may be made of passive and active devices, and uh, we want to solve uh, the equations for time-varying currents and voltages. And it's, well, its name says it, it's the open source successor of the venerable SPICE 3 from Berkeley. Um, well, what do we have? In fact, um, we have a circuit on the far left, simple circuit here in CMOS inverter. But this is not the input SPICE typically has because it's a command line input. Um, and we use this thing in the middle, just a list, a net list, which gives us uh, the devices and the connections and uh, some um, simulation commands. And the output is on the right. This is a graphical output of, for example, where well, voltages versus time. You see some pulse, pulse waveforms, input and output of an inverter. OK, so NG Spice has two major application areas. Uh, it's, the one is a PCB design support. Well, typically here, circuits are made of a mix of ICs and discrete components. And there you have a requirement, well, have a comfortable user interface. Uh, okay, you have seen NG Spice is a command line, so this is not that comfortable. So we rely on others. We rely on KiCad, uh, and uh, we rely on some other parties to offer, uh, for example, schematic capture. And when we do these... Uh, circuit simulations, we have to be compatible to some uh, well-known software tools like PSPICE and LTSPICE. This is mostly concerning the device models we are using. On the other hand, we have uh, the capability of uh, doing IC design support. Mostly today, ICs are made of MOS devices, and you have many of them. And you would have some parasitic devices as well, of course, uh, resistors and capacitors uh, that are included in your circuit. There we need compatibility to existing device models, uh, Berkeley models, BSM3 and 4, and maybe BSM bulk and others. And we have to have large circuit capability, a few thousands or even ten thousands of transistors. Therefore, we need a certain uh, simulation speed. And we should be compatible to some yeah, process development kits that are offered by the foundry. So you get their device models from the foundry and uh, typical software used there is HSPICE. So we try to be HSPICE PTK compatible. And in red and down, you see some uh, software using NG SPICE and supporting NG SPICE, uh, both on the PCB um, design support side and also on the IC design support side. Okay, so what is the status of what we are doing right now? So we are working towards NG SPICE 32. Uh, should be available hopefully in March. Um, well, as you see from the things we are doing there, there is no revolution going on. It's a lot of evolutionary uh, development moving on. Um, improved graphics for the output, um, both on Windows and both on, uh, on uh, uh, Linux. Um, we want to add Unicode support, that we use UTF-8 um, strings and white charge strings on Windows, and that we can uh, use uh, Korean and Chinese and uh, uh, Russian and other language, uh, languages or texts for plots, node names, file names, directory names. Um, and we have, a, a compared to the last uh, NGSPICE issue, a revised model for PowerMOS devices. Um, an efficient model, this, is this VDMOS model, and this now includes self-heating. And I will talk about that uh, in a minute. Well, in addition, of course, we have a lot of uh, 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 enhancement of robustness, bug fixes, uh, improved error handling. So if there is an error, get better error messages, 
major code cleanup is in, in fact going on, and therefore the yeah the interconnection to to users uh, <laughs> maybe on the KiCad side, maybe direct users and of NGSpice are important to react, and we are re relatively fast. Sometimes bugs are fixed within one day, if uh, if required. Okay, some just some impressions. Well, uh, what how to input things into ng spice now for example we we are kicat well a power uh, amplifier uh, um, schematic here and you can directly get the netlist out of kicat into ng spice and either use the in, uh, the internal uh, kicat ng spice version or can you can offload it to external kicat well and concerning ic um, work there is a relatively new thing called xcam and um, integration work is going on there also for ic work well and the output is lots of different graphs it's GNU plot output it's the internal um, ng spice plotting capability we can write postscript files and we can of course use the kicat uh, 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 integrated um, output okay so i have been uh, saying that I want to go a little bit into one special application area. This is electrothermal simulation. Starting, well, with the, if you are familiar with MOS devices, you see these output characteristics of an MOS uh, device. Uh, X-axis is the drain voltage, Y-axis is the current. And what is happening? Well, you increase the drain voltage and the current is decreasing somehow. So this is strange, yeah? Do we have negative resistance in our MOS device? No, it's a very simple thing. This device heats up. And uh, because we have, of course, we have some power dissipation. You see 10 volts and 2 amps, 20 watt uh, power dissipation in device, the device heats up. And so the electrical characteristics of this device is changing. Especially here, the mobility of the charge carriers is decreasing, and so the current decreases with increasing uh, temperature simply yeah? and the temperature increases because the power uh, uh, the dissipated power might increase yeah and so how can we do this how can we model this and this is the idea we want to uh, we have integrated recently into uh, our devices yeah You're the, uh, gate voltage no the gate voltage is a step by step okay so the, uh, yeah, the question was, do I keep the gate voltage constant? No, I don't. Uh, this is stepwise increasing in uh, gate voltage here. Yeah, so the lowest graph is the lowest gate voltage, and it's just uh, raising up. Um, yeah, so this is about electrothermal modeling. And what is it? Yeah, we make use of the equivalence of thermal circuits and electronic circuits. Yeah, uh, you, we translate thermals uh, into electrical circuits. And then we run both circuit parts in NG spice. So uh, electrical power dissipation generates heat. Uh, heat has some restricted flow path, and so it rises to the temperature of the device. Temperature changes uh, uh, some device characteristics, and so we have this closed loop. And this has to be integrated and, well, deserves special device models that can react to this. And in the table you see, okay, the equivalence of electrical and thermal ter terms like the heat capacitance, the um, uh, capability of a material to store heat, similar as electric capacity, electrical capacitance. Or we have the conductance, uh, the thermal conductance, the heat flow is restricted somehow. It's the same uh, or equivalent as a resistor for the electrical current. Yeah, and so because we can do electronic and thermal circuits at the same time, well, we can simulate them at the same time. Here you see just another power amplifier uh, made in a KiCad schema um, for generating the uh, NG Spice netlist. And you see the MOS devices and these MOS devices, the power devices uh, on the uh, right, uh, well, on the, uh, here. They're a little bit special because they don't have only three uh, pins, but they have five pins. And they have three electrical and two thermal pins. Thermal pin is the, the junction temperature, 
and is the outer case temperature. Yeah, so this is the interconnection between the electronic and the thermal uh, circuitry. And on the right, you see, well, this is our thermal circuit. And in fact, this is a heat, uh, the electrical equivalent of a heat sink. You have a small resistor uh, coming in here. This is how the transistor is uh, put onto the heat sink with some, uh, some, some, some glue or whatever had a certain thermal resistance. And then we have a capacitor because of the mass of the heat sink that has a thermal, thermal capacitance. And you have a, a resistor, uh, the thermal resistance of this heat sink. And then we have a voltage source. This is the outside temperature, 42 degrees here. And then you can do this uh, simulation because it's now all electrical um, devices. And of course, NG spice can do this. And in a complete uh, single fashion. Well, on the left, you don't see much about these temperatures. It's just the input voltage and the output voltage. So the amplifier is amplifying. This is great. And on the right, uh, you see simulation for about 10 seconds, 10 seconds on the X axis. And the output, well, here it's, uh, it's named voltage, but in fact, it's the temperature you see here. You just see the temperature of this uh, transistor on its heat sink is rising. Well, and we have the outside case temperature here, and we have the junction temperature here, and typically junction temperature is specified in the, uh, in the specification sheet to, uh, to be, uh, not be beyond a certain maximum. And this can be simulated here easily now uh, with a co-simulation of electrical and thermal circuits. Okay, and you can do other thing. This is a resistor, a simple resistor, which has a negative uh, temperature coefficient. That means the temperature rises, so and the resistance decreases. Uh, and we put a voltage on, and we simulate versus time, and we see where well, the temperature is rising and it's rising and rising, and at a certain point, the thing breaks down. The temperature goes up beyond all bounds. And this is simply a thermal runaway. Yeah? And so you can simulate uh, uh, the limits of your system, uh, system capability before it starts to explode, let's say. OK, so to summarize, well, NG Spice hopefully will be available in March uh, this year with several new features, many, many bug fixes, Unicode compatibility, Enhanced Monte Carlo simulation capability. I didn't uh, talk about this here today, but this is another thing of interest, especially for the IC designers. And we have these electrothermal models of uh, power devices integrated. And even then, well, we just think about what will we do next for NG Spice 33. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, the question is, uh, where do I get the uh, modeling data? Uh, because the models are as, as good as, uh, well, the, data, the input data are. Yes, um, one has to look a little bit into detail. So um, for the transistor itself, it's just a so-so uh, judgment. How much copper is in, how much plastic is in? And then you have weight, and then you have a thermal capacitance of the material, and then you can calculate the thermal capacitance. For a heat sink, well, the heat sink, heat sink manufacturer will deliver uh, these uh, things to you. Uh. Is there a native way to do like these thermal calculations in KiCad, or do you have to kind of trick it if, like in the example, it was thinking that it was doing computations on voltage and current? And then you kind of tricked it because it was doing things on temperature. Do you have to do that, or is there a native temperature way in um, No. Uh, yeah, the question was is there an, um, is the, a native way of uh, doing therm electrothermal simulation in KiCad, especially because on the graph it was voltage and in fact it was temperature? Uh, not yet. The, uh, it's just a matter of this interface between uh, KiCad and NGSpice. So NGSpice, in fact, does calculate voltages. 
And then you can tell, of course, the graph, the output graph, it's not a voltage, it's a temperature. Because the equivalence is clear and the, uh, the equations, uh, the relationship between these two is clear. And so NGSPICE calculates voltage, but in fact it's the temperature. And the graph should show temperature, yeah. In, within in NGSPICE directly you can just tell it this is not a voltage, this is a temperature. The question is, uh, can one take a cadence uh, simulation environment, uh, the data, and put them into NGSPICE and do simulation? Uh, yes, there has been uh, some guy doing a translator that use, it takes the uh, cadence uh, spectra input thing and translate it into the NGSPICE netlist. And the models, of course, you have to, to select. Uh, NGSPICE had a certain uh, number of models available, and if these are the same as Cadence, and well, BSIM-3 for older processes, BSIM-4 for newer processes, then you can do that. Oh, the question was of uh, uh, compatibility between LT spice and NG spice, and especially polynomial uh, functions. <laughs> well, there is a polynomial uh, function capability in uh, NG spice, as has been in the old uh, spice two. It's the same, same feature, same function. This is working. Um, well, if you say if it's fully compatible, well, we are never f fully compatible. Main reason is we don't know what LT spice has in. Yeah, so we don't know the equations of LT spice, so we can just figure out should be similar, and this is what we are doing, and this is continuously improving. Yeah. One more question. Oh, sorry. Yes, please in the middle. Okay. Raise up high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the question is, what is the licensing situation uh, of the, the models? Good question. <laughs> um, well, the model development is mostly nowadays done proprietary. These um, um, companies pay for this model development. And um, models are um, publicized some with some delay, maybe a year or two, also on, on the open world. There is, I think, model developers have, and their parent, the companies have agreed upon um, a so-called, I don't know the abbreviation, educational license too. And now they offer these models under this specific license. This is a sort of open source license. Uh, I just have to clarify if it is Debian compatible because these are the very strict people uh, will do that and uh, if this is um, difficult well then we have two distribution channels we have ng-spice and we have uh, another uh, download uh, for uh, if especially for Debian people and we have another download on the models and you can link it together so both are open source but maybe not the ultimate most newest model is available right now it's take a year or two Thank you. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Okay. So, uh, it's